It's the very, very best that we're looking for. We want the very, very best, and here's what for. We're gonna have us a party. It's just for you, and nothing but the very, very best. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Cobalt Steel Reviews. This is it, the final episode in Strawberry Shortcake 1980s. Last time, we looked at the fifth episode of this series, Baby Without a Name, which was pretty cool with Plum returning and the story being good too. Today, we are going to take a look at the series finale, Meet the Berrykins. Will Strawberry go out with a bang or whimper away? Let's find out. Let the review of Meet the Berrykins commence. Strawberry and friends are picking berries for their annual garden party and... While that happens, Strawberry changes to a party dress. The others seemingly change too, weirdly. Oddly enough, a mysterious lady comes out of nowhere and the fruits morph into little kids. The Strawberry friends are introduced to the Berrykins and the Berrykin princess, who are in charge of giving the fruits their proper smell. Meanwhile, Pie Man and Grapes want to make the greatest perfume in the world, desiring fortune, but they seem to be struggling. However, their experiments are making a cloud that's rain is causing the fruits to smell weird. A large crowd forms that, according to Plum's calculations, would burst in 10 minutes. The changes in smell is causing chaos, but normality can be restored by... Bring the smells back, of course. One song about smells later, the friends vow to restore order with them helping the Berrykins to restore the smells of the fruits, while the Berrykin princess and Strawberry try to find the source of the smells. While this happens, the Berrykins come across one of the spy crows, and they try to douse him with their smells, although the crow winds up stealing them, as their scents will be perfect for the perfume. Meanwhile, the princess finds out that the smells are coming from the pie man's factory and she tries to convince him to stop the smells with a calm approach. Unfortunately, this fails when the crow returns with the berrykins, whom they use to make the perfume smell better. This causes the clown to become darker and larger, which is more concerning for the strawberry friends. The princess tries again but fails when Sour Grapes answers and proclaims that she will use their scents until they run dry. Princess will not have it anymore and wants them back no matter the cost. Strawberry gets the idea to use her strawberry berrykin, who was not captured, as a distraction while Strawberry gets the other berrykins. The plan is successful and they all escape, with the princess summoning a spell to remove the bad smell cloud and allow a rain of good smells to commence, restoring the natural fruit smells. The day ends with a lullaby and Princess entrusts Strawberry to look after the berrykins as she leaves, which Strawberry agrees to. And that's the end of the 6th special and the series finale. Much like the previous specials, now that I think about it, the story is a standard rescue mission, emphasizing the rescue mission. And while light and fluffy in some areas, it's properly constructed and there are some original directions to the mission, such as having to rescue kids while the princess takes some initiative to rescue her people. The general conflict was primarily caused by a situational incident that the villains did not cause on purpose, which is a nice change in pace, but they did cause a conflict within a conflict, and it's pretty much the most serious conflict, as it's a hostage crisis with greedy intentions, similar to the fifth special in a way with a monster, but with children-like figures. The special does have somewhat of a pacing problem, with the last half of the film seeming a bit compressed, while the first half is very light and fluffy, and a part of me tells myself that this could have been a full-length feature film, hybridized with the fourth and fifth specials elements. Overall, despite some pacing problems, it's a pretty decent story. Our cast from the previous specials return with a new character, Banana Twirl. However, like before, we have the writers trying to give everyone a part in the story, but while more successful here, they're still failing to properly execute due to the runtime. The Strawberry Friends return, but they don't seem to develop any new traits in the special or go through anything important. The special manages to give everyone at least one line, unlike previous specials, and we do get a small amount of personality through their lines and actions, 
But again, the runtime doesn't help anything. In fact, the new girl, Banana Twirl, seems to have displayed her personality by just telling us her personality, which isn't an ideal method of displaying characters. High Man and Grapes return as the villains, and they're the same get-rich-quick weirdos like the previous two specials, but at least they have new methods of trying to get rich, so... It's not too much of an issue. We do have the Berrykin Princess and the Berrykins, but they both seem to be just standard. Princess is your standard princess, although the fact that she takes an initiative to save her people is good. And the Berrykins are your standard goofy little kids. There's really nothing much to them, aside from the initiative princess. Overall, the character department is just... Standard. Nothing special happens here, which isn't that good for an annualized series, especially for a finale. The special was pretty similar in quality to the previous two specials, due to being animated by the same company, and the quality is still good. The special actually seems a lot more colorful than previous specials, probably to emphasize the fruity themes, which is good, but the cartoon also looks very 1980s like compared to previous specials, with some backgrounds being solid colors and some sequences having neon lights. The ballerinas are also something I see a lot in 1980s girl cartoons. In terms of voice acting, it's okay, but there seems to be far less voice actors as some of the voices sound a bit similar to each other. Although that could be because more characters are talking. The music is still pretty good, especially the growing up song and the lullaby song. However, some of the songs, like the intro song, sound like previous specials of songs. The intro song sounds like the housewarming surprise theme in some areas, but it's not as jarring as the toy episodes recycling songs. Overall, production quality is still high, but probably slightly lower than the previous two specials. Meet the Berrykins was the final Strawberry Shortcake TV special, released in 1985 and produced by Novana and Mad. My only guess as to why this was the case was low toy sales, but it is said that there was an attempt in 1993 to revive the series by DIC, but I couldn't really find any confirmation of it. It was revived a decade later by the same company though. It is also said that the special was used as a feature for the UK release of the Care Bears movie, but I'm not wholly sure about that. I would like some confirmation from any UK viewers out there. Overall, Meet the Berrykins gets a 7 out of 10. Despite the same issue with having too many characters to display, some pacing problems, and being somewhat standard, the narrative is alright for what it is, and the overall aesthetics are pretty decent. It's a shame the series was not made into a TV show, especially by Nelvana. This could have been made for a fairly decent TV series. Probably not as magical as G1 My Little Pony, but still pretty okay. Anyway, that is all for Strawberry Shortcake 1980s. Overall, the series had its ups and downs, with the overall quality fluctuating depending on a special. However, there was a very clean divide over the first three specials and the last three specials, with the differences being in characters, animation, and voice acting. The last three specials, while delving into generic territory, was probably the best of the halves. Next time, we'll... well... You'll see what happens when I upload the videos, but until then, see you all later.